Coco, where are we going? Hey friends, welcome back. If you are new to the channel, this is Rouse Rising and my name is Katie. On my channel, I like to share with you guys all about my motherhood. I am a mom to five. We are a military family stationed in the Pacific Northwest right now. We are in Southern Oregon. And my husband also plays professional golf on the side. So that keeps him very, very busy. That means I am very, very busy with the kids and yeah. Today I have a grocery haul for you and this is my big once a month grocery haul. It is when I try to buy the majority of our groceries so that I don't have to go back to the grocery store because I don't really like to grocery shop that much. It's kind of my nemesis. So if I can get all of it done at one time and save myself time in the grocery store the rest of the month, then that makes me very happy and in turn, everybody's very happy, right? So right now, this is primarily, besides some of the stuff back here, this is primarily a Whole Foods grocery haul from Walmart. I never shop at Walmart, like hardly ever grocery shop at Walmart. I just, I don't do it. But I was looking to save some money because grocery prices, as you guys know, are through the roof. And I just really wanted to save some money on my grocery haul. We'll probably go back to Fred Meyers later on in the month and get things like produce, milk, um, whatever else we need. I did forget yogurt today, a big tub of yogurt, um, but I'll just get that on my next grocery haul. But for now, this is what we have. This is what I got. And at the end of this grocery haul, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I spent. I also went to um, grocery outlet. Yep, I went to grocery outlet and I'm going to include that haul in this video as well. I got a whole bunch of stuff from there. and. Um, you know, sometimes they have really good deals on things. So I like to go there and buy things when they have really great deals. And I did. And so I've got Walmart and the grocery outlet in this grocery haul for you. So without further ado, let me show you what I got. Okay, I went to the grocery outlet and this is everything I got. I went there to buy cereal because they had a great deal the other day. And while they didn't have the 39 cent boxes, they did have the dollar, uh, what was it? Dollar, let me look on here. Oh, I'll get to that in just a minute, but they did have these. They were 97 cents a piece. Yeah, so 97 cents a piece for these. So I went ahead and grabbed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes of those. As you know, I have to be the odd one out when I buy things. <laughs> also, funny thing, I did that down here too. Um, these sardines, my uh, kids love sardines, and these were $1.49 a piece. They are sustainable sardines and olive oil, and they were about 50 cents less expensive than the other sustainable, sustainably caught sardines that um, were available there. So I got two different kinds, and like I said, they were both the same price. I also grabbed some sandwich baggies um, today, and these are just for kids' snacks and sandwiches and things like that for on the go. And then let's go over here because this is really where I started. Um, I got, this is, when I go to this store, I like to shop for snacks. And these were $3.99 a piece for these fundables fruity snacks. These were $3.99 a piece, so I grabbed two boxes of those. And then these Halloween fruit ones right here, these Annie's Organics were $1.99 for these. And these had, what were they, 28 these had 28 packs in them, so these are gonna be great for the kids' lunches and for on-the-go, toddler tantrums, that kind of thing. So grabbed uh, six of those, one, two, three, four, five, six of those, and I grabbed a bunch of those the other day that you saw in my last grocery haul. Well, I wanted to stock up and get more because that's a great price for those. These were 99 cents a piece, so I grabbed four, eight, 12 of those. I've gotten those before, but we needed to restock. We still have about half left from my uh, grocery haul a couple months ago. Um, we haven't gone through all of them, but I just like to have a back stock of some non-perishable items for emergencies and for food stores and that kind of thing. That's why I got these Idahoan mashed potatoes. And these were $1.99 a piece. And they've 
got 18 servings per container, so I got three boxes of those. And then I also got these Nestle Toll House dark um, chocolate morsels. And these were only $4.99 for those. So I thought that was a really good deal. Um, then right here for this organic chicken breast, this was $3.99. So these were one of the more expensive things that I got because these were $4. Oh my gosh, $4 a piece for 10 ounces of organic pre-cooked chicken. But sometimes in life, having things that are easy and having things that we can store in our long-term food storage, it's worth it to give a little bit extra because I saved so much money on this grocery haul. And I'll tell you, it, they told me how much I saved in there, but I'm not sure if I believe it. Are their prices inflated? Are their savings inflated? I don't know, but these were each $3.99 a piece. I was going to order um, organic from Azure, but then I figured I need to cut costs where I can with prices being so high. So $3.99 for that, $3.99 for some onion granulated onion and also $3.99 for some ground cinnamon. We got some bare bones bone broth. I got that for Aaron for him to keep at his work so that he can just mix him up a couple cups of that when he's getting hangry. And then I needed to get some cocoa. I wanted to make the kids some um, cake or brownies or something to celebrate 10,000 subscribers with our YouTube channel. And this was $7 for this bag of organic baking cocoa. So I thought that was a good deal for that. How much is this? This is 25 ounces. So we're gonna make something yummy, some fudgy brownies, maybe the recipe on the back. Yeah, you want to look at that? All right, moving on. These unsweet apple sauces were $1.79 a piece, so I just grabbed two of those. Sometimes it's nice, like, if we have to run out the door or if we have to hop on a plane or fly across the country or do something crazy, it's nice to have some easy snacks that we can just throw in a bag. Or, like our friend did, she brought us over a whole bunch of stuff because I didn't have anything. I wasn't tapped. prepared. Tapped? Yep, tapped. It's a weird word. Yeah, why did they put it on the syrup? That's bottle? the brand name because they um, syrup comes from maple trees and they tap the ma maple trees. So we've got some tapped organic maple syrup. And this was another one of our more expensive items. And this was $14.99 for 32 ounces. So for a quart of that. And I plan on ordering a bulk amount from Azure Standard real soon, but this is just to tie us over for the month. I think I have another one in back stock, but I need to replace because we're eating lots of crepes and pancakes and sourdough yummy goodness. Check out all those recipes. And we also got barbecue chips. Yeah, I got some barbecue chips. Those were $3.99 for a 22 ounce bag of party barbecue chips for a party um, that we will have. And the baby's turning one, so we're going to have a little family party for him. Yeah. And then I already told you guys that we bought these sardines. These tissues were three, $3.99 uh, for this box of three tissues. And then for the six rolls of paper towels was $6. And let me see. Let me make sure I'm telling you. $6.99. I love sardines. Yep. I think that covers everything that we got here. So my grand total, yeah, you're happy about those, aren't I you? I love <laughs> Going to have those on some crackers, on some sourdough crackers. They'll be really good. <laughs> my total was six, $160.95. Apparently, I saved a lot. I had to cut off the savings part because I wanted to um, enter to win my savings. But I saved $190 is what it told me before I threw it into the thing. So it was win what you save. If we saved $190, then we could get a $190 gift certificate to here. So I just ripped off the bottom, wrote my name on phone number on the back. And yeah, hopefully we get something. That box was full though, but it would be cool if we actually won. Oh, like I said, went for those, got all of this stuff, spent too much money, but we have things in our back stock. Some protein rich items that were on the more expensive end. And um, like I said, these were $4 a piece. So I spent like $30 or so on those. All right, thank you guys so much. And on to the next grocery haul. If you're new here, I would love it for you to stick around, click that subscribe button and let's hang out. This is my big once a month grocery haul. It is when I try to buy the majority of our groceries. 
so that I don't have to go back to the grocery store because I don't really like to grocery shop that much. It's kind of my nemesis. So if I can get all of it done at one time and save myself time in the grocery store the rest of the month, then that makes me very happy. And in turn, everybody's very happy, right? So right now, this is primarily, besides some of the stuff back here, this is primarily a Whole Foods grocery haul from Walmart. I never shop at Walmart, like hardly ever grocery shop at Walmart. I just, I don't do it. But I was looking to save some money because grocery prices, as you guys know, are through the roof. And I just really wanted to save some money this month on my first of the month grocery haul. We'll probably go back to Fred Meyers later on in the month and get things like produce, milk, um, whatever else we need. I did forget yogurt today, a big tub of yogurt, um, but I'll just get that on my next grocery haul. But for now, this is what we have. This is what I got. And at the end of this grocery haul, I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what I spent. All right, let's start with all this healthy whole foods stuff. I got three bags of, so six pounds of pink lady apples. These were actually priced pretty well at Walmart. They're, I think, more expensive at Fred Meyers. But uh, I just, I got what I got and that's what I got. And I'm probably gonna need to get some more of those in two weeks because my kids eat a whole lot of apples. Here we've got one bunch of organic broccoli. We like to eat that raw with some ranch. The kids like to have it as a snack. Uh, the cuties. These are for school. Typically I get two bags of these, but we still have some and the kids didn't eat them that well this last time that I got them. So I just got one bag this time and I'm going to be making some taco salad uh, with some classic Catalina dressing, just like my dad used to make when I was growing up. So um, I'm, I realize I've Missed a few ingredients, but I got lettuce, so there. I got seven cucumbers, this big bag of grapes, a big bag of whole carrots for my soups and stews, and then a bag of baby peeled carrots for the kids to snack on. And this is the big 32 ounce, two pound bag. We also got some celery to make soups and stews, and then some onions, same deal cooking whole foods yum and Hagen asked about golden yellow potatoes so I grabbed her some golden yellow potatoes instead of our typical russet ones sometimes I get red potatoes but we got those and we're going to cook those up and see if she can tell a difference between those and the potatoes that we normally get um here we have four bunches of bananas I got two organic and two non-organic uh, it doesn't really matter, but um, it, I went based on how they looked and they didn't really have much of a selection there. So I just grabbed the biggest bunches that I could and I do that. That's how I roll. Um, this sour cream is for my husband mostly. Uh, the kids will eat it if they mix it with like sriracha. They'll make like a chip dip with sour cream and sriracha. So, um, but I got these two big huge ones. He's on carnivore diet, so he eats animal products primarily and some fruits. So he has six pounds of cultured sour cream. And then we go through an obscene amount of butter. So I have butter that I got from Azure Standard and um, I just wanted to have a couple extra backup butters because we don't wanna run out of that. We do not wanna run out of it. It is so good. Next up, we've got some frozen vegetables now. I still have some frozen vegetables in the freezers. So this is just for the rest of the month. We got our six pounds right here. And then I got three little steam, like microwave steam bags or whatever of the peas and carrots. Thought we would give those a try for the kids um, for dinners. And right here we've got six sweet potatoes. And yes, they wrap them in plastic. And that's how the sweet potatoes came from Walmart. Everything is wrapped in plastic. If only I could just, you know, go to the farmer's market and buy all of this stuff and put it in, you know, my bags. And, but I can't, alas, it's not farmer's market season and this is just life in America for all of us, right? Uh, we've got two things of grass-fed milk. This is um, just to have in our fridge for when we run out of our raw milk, which uh, the cow has not been able to produce a whole lot of milk. So we're, we've been kind of, um, it's hit or miss every week 
if we're gonna have milk, how much milk we're gonna have, that kind of thing. So I just grabbed those two because I feel like this week we're gonna run out of our raw milk before Thursday. So I grabbed two more just to carry us through and those don't expire until April, which I think is so strange that this milk lasts that long. But um, yeah, anyways, that's what we got for milk to supplement our raw milk. We got 48 stream cheeses. Now I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret. Our kids just started back at school. So I send them to school five days a week, three kids, and I pack their lunches for them. So for convenience sake, for me, um, we've got them some string cheese and we alternate that with Go-Gurts or sometimes they get both. It just depends on what else is in their lunch. But uh, yeah, I got the Simply Go-Gurt because that one doesn't have any nasty stuff in it. And those are just easy. Uh, I know that it's more plastic and more packaging and that's really annoying to me. And I've considered giving them, actually I have started giving them yogurt in their little tubs that I have, um, their little Tupperware tubs. I did that last week, uh, but these are great because I can stick them in the freezer. I guess I could do that with the Tupperware tubs too, but gosh, you guys, I just need some ease in my life. We're in a season right now and uh, I've been in a season for nine years, you know, when you have a baby, you're just, you're in that postpartum season and I'm still in it and life has not been the easiest lately. So where I can simplify life, I do. I do home make all of our bread. So every day I bake a loaf of bread. And so I got three bags of organic all-purpose flour because I can't find organic bread flour and getting organic flour is very important to me. Um, so if I can find organic, I get, I get it. Um, even if it is all purpose, it still makes a great loaf of bread. And then we've got some sun butter. I got two 16 ounce things of that for my Miss Hagen. Uh, she can't have peanuts. And then my boys like peanut butter. And then we got some Bon Mama, Maman, Bon Maman. You guys tell me how you pronounce that. Wild blueberry preserve. And then I also got their apricot preserve. And um, if you pay attention to your jams and jellies and things like that, a lot of them have corn syrup in them. Gross. And the Bon Maman does not have corn syrup in it or any other nasty stuff in it. And the Great Value Strawberry Fruit Spread doesn't have any nasty stuff in it either. So I grabbed two of those. If you guys are wondering, a lot of the jams and jellies at the um, grocery stores do have lots of nasty ingredients in them, but I found this at Walmart and it doesn't have nasty ingredients. And I also found this at Walmart and it doesn't have a bunch of nasty ingredients. So yeah, that's what we're going with there. I got two cases of eggs because I get four dozen a week from a lady down the road. Uh, but we like to use those in the frying pan and in other recipes. But these, um, I do buy eggs from the store that I boil uh, just because I don't know why I'm like that. I'm just weird. So I boil my store-bought eggs and we use the fresh eggs for fresher meals, if that makes sense. So these get boiled and then they sit in the fridge and that's what we do for that. Um, but, you know, this, this is just to supplement what we're getting from down the road. All right, back to over here. We got a really big 18-ounce container of ground coffee. And then, like I said, I'm trying to make life easy on occasion. And then another 18-ounce one of beans, of whole beans. So I grabbed both of those to stock up our coffee for this month. We use this first and then go to that. Um, and then you guys know I love, love, love tea. The kids do too. So we've got some soothing caramel bedtime tea to try at night. I got two of those. That is, I've already tried that. That's my favorite. So that's why I got more of it. And then we have the extra sleepy time. That's for mama to help me relax and wind down and go to sleep because I'm so wound up so much of the time. It just helps me a lot to be able to have some of the valerian and the different herbs that are in there just to help me sleep because lord knows that i don't sleep with a nursing baby very well so if i can get to sleep when he goes to sleep at night um and this helps me wind down and do that then i'm maximizing my sleep so that's all of this yummy goodness and let's head over here to the tisk 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 um we do buy pizzas i used to make sourdough crust and make all of our pizzas homemade i just haven't done that because tis the season you guys have heard me say this 
in so many of my grocery vlogs since my fifth baby has been born. So we also got these new pizza snack rolls. They are nostalgic for our kids because their mama loved to make them the sausage pepperoni rolls. So anytime they went to her house, they had these sausage pepperoni snack rolls. And so I bought a big bag of those so that we could just have some in remembrance of her and just kind of lift their spirits a little bit. Um, this is the Catalina Craft dressing that I was talking about. I know this probably has some nasties in it too, but this is a nostalgia thing for me. I wanted to make my dad's taco salad. Oh no, I got the light. Oh man. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be any good. Hopefully it is. Um, I haven't had that in years and years and years and years. So I got that to have, um, just, I can't believe I got light. Now I'm kicking myself. I might take that back. I'm so disgruntled because it doesn't have the best ingredients anyways. And then I went and grabbed light. So I'm kind of frustrated with that. It's going to taste awful. I hope not. Um, and then another thing is their, uh, pizza sauce, the great value pizza sauce in the glass jar for no BPA. Um, and then it just has tomato puree, water, uh, less than 2% of soybean oil, not a great thing, but salt, spices, natural flavors, such acid. So no nasties in that besides the soy, but um, just got that so we could have some extra pasta sauce in our pantry for like emergency storage type deal to go along with these elbows or the spaghetti. Um, I do have spaghetti and macaroni, I believe, but this was just for like my back stock, back storage. I don't know when these expire, August all right, so they're good for the next year and a half. So I'll be able to use those up in the next year and a half, but um, I just kind of have some extra things just sitting on the shelf right now, just, you know, for, you know, the times that we are in. I saw these marshmallows and they didn't have any artificial flavors and no artificial colors. Um, and I mean, not the best because they have corn syrup and sugar and all that kind of yucky stuff. But I put these in the kids' uh, snack mix and they get like a couple each when I make them a little, like a fruit, a dried fruit and nut snack mix. We throw those in there or they have them in their hot chocolate. And so just a little treat for them. It's not like they're eating the whole bag or anything. So um, my theory is, is that we do as many things as we can healthy. And then we do things like this and like that. And like these, these are like my non healthy items that I consider. So, um, the pork rinds, uh, these are pa or not paleo. These are, um, carnivore. So these don't have any other ingredients in them. They're just chicharrones. So I got those for my husband. He likes to make nachos and things like that with his carnivore diet. Um, he had nachos tonight. I've had nachos with uh, chicharrones before and they are so good. You should give them a try. We got some cane sugar for our water kefir and then I got the uh, organic coconut palm sugar, three pounds. So I got six pounds of that. I like to use that in my coffee and we like to sprinkle it on our oatmeal and that kind of stuff. It's yummy. So we got six pounds of that. And then this, I also got cane sugar from Azure Standard last month, but I don't want to run out of that. And with the prediction of supply shortages and different things like that, I just want to make sure that I've got my food stores, my house in order, and you might want to consider doing that for yourself. Um, Mama Five here, I've got some paper plates. Uh, these are for when I am momming it solo with all of these kids and my baby is teething. Yes, it's happening. <laughs> um, I got one thing of cherry bubbly for my husband and he buys like a whole, whole lot of those, but I didn't know if we had any here at home. Um, so I got him one just in case, but he typically buys his own supply of cherry bubbly. Um, and then we've got to this huge mega rolls of toilet paper because we were running low and then I needed to grab some properly sized diapers. You guys saw in my last grocery haul, I got some diapers for the baby. I still have all those, but I went ahead and picked up some for the rest of this month. We're going to start hitting potty training hard now that he is starting to walk. So we're going to be using elimination communication and I hope to have him out of diapers by the time he is 18 months old. I want him potty trained completely by 18 months. All of our other kids have been potty trained by that time, so I don't see it being a problem for him. So we'll just be in disposables a little bit longer. And if you didn't hear in my last grocery haul, we cloth diapered our first four children. This is the first one that we have disposable diapered. So don't, don't come at me in the comments about 
about that. I have done my share of cloth diapering and I still have cloth diapers. So if I need to, I will go back to it. But at this time in my life, I don't want to go back to it. Um, so that's what we're doing right now. But this is all of the stuff and all of this stuff that we got today. And this is going to feed my family for the next couple of weeks. Um, and yeah, we're going to eat well. And these are for emergencies. We had four of them, but we cooked one tonight for the kids so that we could just get them fed and in bed because it has been a day, let me tell you. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you haven't done so already, give this video a thumbs up. That is a like and click that subscribe button if you're new here and stick around for all of the crazy shenanigans that we get into as a family of seven living in the Pacific Northwest. Until next time, you guys. Bye.